Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kite Man, and what we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a uh, a rope. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, drop a spline object into our assembly room, and uh, let's go ahead and grab an oval and draw it out in the center of our uh, our drawing plane. Now let's go to our geometry and do an extrusion preset spiral and there are a lot of options here and it, if you don't get the options that you want uh, you can do that and then uh, and then command Z and then start all over again that's the only way it doesn't you can't model as you go uh, let's go ahead and grab a spiral do number of turns 20 and do our length at 5 feet distance to axis 0 0.01 and let's push OK. Now you notice we have kind of a uh, we have kind of a uh, ropish looking uh, rope and you can adjust the you can adjust the parameters as you want uh, something else you can do with it let's go ahead and jump back in there uh, something else you can do let's go to extrusion preset spiral and number of turns let's do 20 again length do 5 again and distance to axis is 0.1 now you notice that you have more of a telephone cord looking uh, spiral and uh, you can adjust these however how it, you can adjust these how you want to and get a get a better look if you like but uh... let's go ahead and uh... uh... jump into another modeler let's see if we can do this real quick Oh, okay convert to another modeler edit convert to another modeler and We've got our vertex modeler. Now that we're in this, uh, let's go back out. There are a lot of polygons involved here. You can tell. Now, uh, what could, what you can do here is let's face the front or to the right. Your call. Uh, let's push zero to get it centered. And now let's make some bones. Uh, let's grab a bone, put it on the end here and you can just go section by section if you want but we're going to go and make uh, longer intervals in between each bone now uh, you've got a bone and you, you got the, your bones and your spline object let's go ahead and do this remember this from the last uh, tutorial that involved bones attach skeleton attach only selected objects and Okay, we're good. Now, uh, now it should bend fairly realistically. Well, maybe not realistically, but you can bend it how you want to, and uh, you know, make it do uh, things that ropes do. And you basically have yourself a rope, a tail, an extension cord, or a telephone cord. Your call. Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.